Hey guys, Altium and KiCad are the most popular PCB design software tools out right now. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a comparison that's pretty high level, but also gets into some details so you could decide which one may be best for you. The most important thing I'll talk about in this video is the design for manufacturing. So you'll wanna stick around for that. So in this section, I'm gonna overview each software. Altium Designer, is basically a professional PCB design tool that's widely used in industry. If you're looking for a PCB design role, Altium is like the most popular PCB design out there, at least in the United States and parts of Europe and whatnot. It has advanced features like design for manufacturing checks, high quality library management, like very efficient library management, so many tools to manage your components, schematic symbols, very professional looking you know, user interface and an extremely robust system for making sure everything is done well and correctly in terms of your component selection, component creation, library management, sharing of documentation, just everything, high quality, high quality stuff. And there are too many things for me to go into. I have to do that in future videos. Let's switch to KiCad. KiCad is an open source tool Whereas Altium is closed source, meaning Altium, it's a proprietary software from the Altium Limited, the Altium LLC Corporation, whereas KiCad is open source. Anyone can get the source code, fork the software, and make their own versions of the software if they want with their own features. But it's gained a lot of popularity because it's free. It's not paid, and it's very, very readily accessible. Right? It has been growing in community support and their capabilities that cater to hobbyists and people looking for a no cost option. I was able to use KiCad in one of my previous roles just fine, like KiCad 5, I think it was, only a couple years ago. So it's been making a lot of progress. So now we're working with KiCad version 8 in this video, and it has come a long way. Still mostly the similar, same standard user interface with better icons and some more features but it's become a very popular choice among hobbyists and even working professionals. Now let's talk about key features and capabilities, starting with Altium Designer. One of the biggest things is the advanced routing and layout that you can do in Altium. It is absolutely insane. So the routing capabilities in this tool, like if you were to go here, you have interactive length tuning, interactive differential pair length tuning, your quick routing, quick differential pair routing, and so many other things you can do in here, along with auto routing if you set things up properly. I know people say don't trust the auto router, but you can uh, if you know how to set it up. Most people don't know how to properly set up the auto router in their professional software tools. In any case, you have this lent tuning, differential pair routing, everything. You also have 3D visualization and MCAT integration. So here's the 3D visualization, very fast, very snappy. Like if I were to uh, see, rotate the board, it looks like that, right? If I go to 2D mode, it looks like that. And it's very poppy and nice interface. And you need to be able to work in 3D, 3D visualization with mechanical engineers and everything. This is absolutely critical, critical for complex designs. Like when I was working at Canon in their nanotechnology department, I had to work very closely with their mechanical engineer their mechanical engineering team and their CAD models to make sure that my design worked within their design enclosures and everything and in the in general major ecosystem for the for our products. Okay. So having that in Altium is really nice. You also have MCAD co-design, which is available if you're using Fusion 360, PTC Creo, SolidWorks, where you can have mechanical engineers working with you near real time, if not real time in your like design enclosures around your PCB, and then you can upload that to the cloud. But I'll get into file sharing later. Speaking of which though, I'll just mention now, Altium 365 is an environment that you have access to whether you're using Altium, KiCad, or other eCAD software tools. So you might wanna check that out to do your design collaboration. There's also simulation and analysis tools, right? So if you want, you could look into simulation for signal integrity. If I were to go into my schematic, right? And then the two tools, I have my signal integrity simulation features available to me. I like that it has options for 
termination resistors and it shows you the signal reflections. You could start assigning models, right? You could do model assignment for your ICs, your inductors. And then once you're done with all that stuff, you could analyze the design and then generate your signal waveforms for the design to see what's going to reflect, what may need impedance terminations or whatnot, do some sweeps, some serial, serial and parallel resistors, VCC to ground and all that stuff. So I like that it has at least that signal integrity analysis available to you. You also can do design collaboration, like I mentioned earlier, which is Altium 365 that supports ba like three um, team based workflows version control. So right here, I don't have to deal with working on GitHub directly. I can just right click on my project and then add a uh, validate PCB project upload this to the server, go into very, well, not variants. If I were to like save to server here, check this out. This automatically saves what I have to the server along with notes and changes, no GitHub stuff, none of that craziness. That's why I like Altium. I can also compare my schematics visually, the latest commit, PCB to PCB, the latest commit, latest release, bill of materials. So, I mean, that's absolutely phenomenal. More on Altium 365 later at version control. Now, when it comes to routing in KiCad, uh, KiCad is no slouch, I must say. I understand why people are migrating more toward KiCad nowadays. So KiCad does have very good routing capabilities. They're very powerful, right? You can do your board editor layers and everything. But if we look into like routing constraints, you have your net classes you, you can set up, length tuning, okay? You also have teardrops. These are your nice signal integrity related things and high-speed digital design. And then predefined sizes for your vias, differential pairs and tracks. And constraints, you know, the constraints aren't quite fully there in terms of high-speed digital design, but you get a lot of stuff here. You can do high-speed boards in KiCad. The thing is you can only, you can get very far, but not as far as the advanced features in Altium. So that's kind of a drawback there. If you're looking to go all the way in terms of industry, like high end level, high end industry level products, the routing capabilities and features might be a little too limiting in KiCad, but very powerful. Okay. For most boards, you should be fine. Then you have the 3D viewer. So if we were to look at the 3D view, it's very nice, you know, look at this. Quite ro quite nice looking, pretty robust, smooth. Okay, it's improved a lot over time. I just wish it had some uh, of the depth and integration that you do get with Altium, like being able to click on each of the copper pads and have it do like a 3D cross probe or real time cross probe with your uh, with your PCB layout. See, it doesn't quite have that. Whereas in Altium, you select any components on your 3D or your PCB, then they get selected interactively with the other, like the schematic and whatnot. So there's that. But still very good 3D modeling, so very capable. You can turn on and off layers. There's essentially almost no difference except for, you know, that interactivity um, and, yeah, in, in Altium Designer. KiCad also has plugins. That's a big thing. So if you want to do, like, external plugins, you can open up your plugin directory, download plugins that people have uploaded to the KiCad site and whatnot, or wherever they put plugins, you know, GitHub or something like that, and add crazy levels of crazy different numbers of features to KiCad to make it really into your own software. You can clean up tracks and vias as well. Okay. You can you can remove unused pads, clean up graphics. So there's a lot of stuff you can do here in KiCad, routing differential pairs, turn to and skew of a differential pair, so on and so forth. Another big thing with KiCad is that it's free. It's accessible to hobbyists, small startup companies, and for educational purposes. It, this KiCad does an excellent job. 
So while both Altium and KiCad are amazing software tools, I want to talk about maybe the most important thing when it comes to getting boards manufactured that is designed for manufacturing. It don't matter what PCB design you could think of, if it can get created at scale and at cost or at scale or at cost, like if your manufacturer just can't make it or it's too expensive, then you need to re go back to the drawing board, you know, and that's where design for manufacturing comes in. I'm surprised that not many people are talking about this. Not enough people are talking about this. And that is your DFM checks, your drill checks, drill to copper, drilling disaster uh, types of vias. So this guide is from the Sierra Circuits website. This is Sierra Circuits Design for Manufacturing Guide or uh, Handbook for DFM. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. I highly recommend all of the design guides from Sierra Circuits, okay? They talk about annular ring, construction of an annular ring, all right? What can go wrong? You need to be able to manage all these and know these things. Drill to copper clearance, annular ring. So I gauge the usefulness, the viability of a PCB design software based on its ability to help me get my, do my job done with as few headaches as possible and making sure that everything is robustly taken care of. If you go into Altium Designer, you want to go into Design Rules and then take a look and inspect how well does your software address the DFM issues. We have electrical, we have clearance rules, right? Short circuits and everything. Great, great, great. This is your standard rule stuff that you'll find in any PCB design software. But does it have a DFM section, DFM specific? Because here's the thing. You may, you're always going to have generic rules for any of your PCB designs, like in general for electrical purposes. It's a whole other borrow game entirely getting this thing manufactured. You need to have your minimum annular ring, which it does. Okay. Minimum, minimum, minimum annular ring thermal and all that stuff, acute angle detection for legacy manufacturers who may still be using the acid etching process that can be prone to acid trapping, hold size, layer pairs and all that stuff, hold all clearance. So Altium has these robust DFM checks for the most part, I would say it covers the majority of what you'd be concerned about. Uh, so that's good. I would say it has Altium has robust DFM capabilities, spacing violations, all this good stuff. Gerber IPC 2581, that's another thing. So if I were to go to say file and export, I have the option to export into MathWorks, Hyperlinks, Circuit Studio, Circuit Maker. Um, and then let me see if we were to do our fabrication outputs, here are our fabrication outputs. Drill drawings, Gerber files, just easy to generate that IPC 2581. You're going to need to be able to do that. ODB++ for companies that take ODB++, Gerber as well, assembly drawings. Okay. So you need your PCB design software to have these robust manufacturing checks when it comes to industry. Let's take a look at what KiCad has to offer in terms of DFM. So if I go into the constraint manager of KiCad, I have my board set up, right? And it has your standard rules, like your constraints for minimum clearance, track width, annular ring, so that's good, minimum via diameter, and copper to hole clearance. You know, this is good, and this will get the job done for most standard designs. But as far as the robust checks for fabrication and assembly, and testing, I'm not seeing it here. I'm not quite seeing it. Yeah, the predefined sizes. It does have teardrops, which is, which is good. That's good for, you know, especially for your rigid flex where you're going to want teardrops and filleting for your, your the structure, uh, structural integrity of your copper pads on uh, the stress relief on that. Also physical integrity for your impedance. Then you have length tuning pattern. So that's good. Net classes. But it doesn't have as robust checks on the, and let me see, we have design for manufacturing here. We have a section for this. So you have board edge clearance violation, hole clearance, track width. Footprint not having a courtyard defined. So that's good. It does have some DFM checks, but not quite as robust as what's in the Altium ecosystem. 
So you're going to need maybe additional plugins or external scripts to achieve similar functionality, whereas in Altium, it's already in there. KiCad is getting so close, but it still has some way to go. Now let's talk about cost and licensing. Altium uses a totally subscription based model, which can be costly, but you do get access to continuous updates and support. And I've got to say Altium does update their software pretty frequently. It's like every other time I open the software, it asks if I want to do an update, right? So it asked me for an update before I started recording this video. So I like that they keep their things up to date and it definitely pays off. I have not had really no major issues with Altium. So I like that. KiCad is free and open source though. And they do have about I'd say a major update every one to two years. So the fact that KiCad's free and open source, this is really ideal if you are worried about budget, um, you're watching the, those dollars and it costs huge, then KiCad is a very viable option for you. So, okay, okay, we've covered all this stuff, but what's really used and what can I get away with in terms of industry versus if I'm a hobbyist versus if I'm just a maker, a working professional, even if I am a working professional industry, does this only matter in consulting? Is it just image, just branding, just, you know, corporate stuff and they don't want to switch to a key cab because it doesn't look quite as professional? Well, here's the reality of the situation. Most jobs Actually, I think almost all jobs I've seen in PCB design are looking for your top industry professional ECAT software, i.e. Altium Designer. I've seen a couple where KiCad is mentioned and you just need general EDA and ECAD knowledge, but it's a different ballgame when it comes to Altium. Altium would be per the preferred choice if you're doing professional product development. By professional, I mean design for manufacturing, critical stuff like it needs to get CE and FCC certified and whatnot. Not that you can't get that done in KiCad, mind you, but it's going to be more of an uproad battle and hill. Although FCC and CE certification have to do with EMI and EMC testing, but it's easier to do that a bit in Altium because you have more DFM checks, signal integrity checks, and so on and so forth. So the conclusion is, if you are a working professional in the industry, use Altium. If you are not doing that and you're doing a hobby and maker stuff, then don't spend your money. Go with KiCad. It is more than capable. So when it comes to PCB design software in which you should use, I highly recommend Altium if you're a working professional in industry for robust DFM checks and signal integrity, uh, ensuring manufacturability and yield and reducing your manufacturing errors, Altium is the is hands down like the no brainer right there. If you're working in KiCad, Altium or CAD, doesn't matter. You can actually upload your projects to Altium 365. So if you're a freelance PCB designer, hardware engineer, and you want to have this professional experience for your clients, customers, or an in industry, upload it to 365. Here, this is the project I uploaded in using ORCAD, the BeagleBone AI. So I could go in here, double click on it. Other people can review my work, right? Click on a component. It'll show up on the PCB very fast and snappy. It's downloading the PCB though, right? And they don't need to have access to the software or know how to use Altium or CAD or anything like that. They just click on here and they could look around. It shows the part information. I could click on any of these parts and pull up uh, their availability, right? Their footprint, very useful, very powerful, okay? So check out Altium 365 if you want to start sharing and collaborating your projects. Uh, KiCad, Altium or not, you know, up to you. And it's completely free. The link is in the description below. It's the first link if you want the free, if you're a free workspace. It's not a free trial, it's just free. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.